spend you know uh, form of aspiration of operation of knowledge that can combine including co-opting that. But in this case, the Mandona is a very good example. Um, when the, the founder, Pavio, who had this epiphany, he had this problem for two weeks, he couldn't, he was a mechanic in uh, Ambassador, Ambassador Google, and he couldn't get time to go to his shop and fix his car. And he was kind of tired, I, I cannot have a basic, you know, basic, you know, math foundations. And he went to sleep and had this epiphany, the Simbi, that spirit that represents the life itself, the vitality that allows us to be human. There is a Simbi of the human body, there is a Simbi that keeps the family together, that came to him, say, there is a language I wanted you to develop that would allow all the black people to tell their own story. That is what means Mandonga, is the, the writing of the black people. Is what means Mandonga, the translation of that word in Congo. And he wake up and have the first variation of the language. And we just try to think about a way to not take knowledge. And in a way, the only two paradigms that mean to him a lot, the French, and the other one is the Ambassador Gungu is very close to the movement, the diversity of symbols. He, you know, he's been exposed to that, and he did the three variation of the of the of the writing that allowed to notate sounds, not a specific meaning. The the what Mandomba is a script that you can you can write in English or French or Dutch or any other language, and uh, give you this kind of flexibility. It's not about a language itself. It's about a foundation that allows to notate any any sound in any language. And, um, first was kind of co-opted by the Munda the Akongo, <coughs> very radical. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, um, church in uh, in from uh, Kinshasa now is in Angola. The been the member being brutalized for the last twenty years, uh, more than two hundred members being killed in both countries. Announced that Simon Kimpangu Church used uh, that Mandonga writing as a way to move to have a kind of um, um, power within the church that, that used the similar uh, Mandonga. The reason I didn't use it because I found in the rock painting site, most of the motif from Mandonga, they are motif I found in, in the rock painting, but I don't have enough evidence that, uh, for example, the, the, the star <coughs> that he used as a basic uh, shape he plays the symbol inside. It's a very common symbol in most of the rock painting side. And um, in, the, in, the, in, in the research, it represents the family, the family unit. And, um, and in Mandomba, it represents the foundation of the writing. is the geometric shape that allows you to play any variation of all the symbols in the Mandomba alphabet. There is a correlation, but I don't have enough evidence for me, it's too risky to, to uh, until I get proper evidence. Of, uh, um, but I have identified 90% of the symbol from Mandonga, they are already on the rock painting side. But the, the funny thing is in 1951, <coughs> the, the Catholic Church in the Maso Congo, where the, the cathedral was built in the uh, early 16th century, um, by the Dutch, is all the record. Um, and uh, in 1951, the, the building collapsed, and the, the, the bishop, and the, one of the most important bishops in the Catholic Church, is one is from the Masakong until today, asked to create a fence around this historical building. If you look into the fence of that building, there are exactly the two important motifs from Mandong, that is five, and the uh, upside down uh, two, five and two, that is S from CD, that is the original meaning from the father, Pavio. Who did that? Pavio, his father. He was the main um, um, mason in a Congo in 1951. That kind of connection is something that uh, you should, people should study. The question is how he knew almost 30, 40 years before his own son the foundation of the writing. 
but kind of is a mystery right now for me. Uh, one or two. On that note, uh, we round up. Uh, for those who want to find out more about the Mandonde or any musician, if you know that uh, a painter called Edith Amanga is early painting, when you see those geometrical forms, this is the Mandonde writing, that if you Google, you can find it, it's what, what they like to do. Sadly, because we started this, we have to round up and leave in uh, five minutes, but then this has this note. Uh, we have a deal with the distributor, we have the books. The books are usually 61 pounds. However, the distributor says that if we have enough people, she can make it to 36 pounds. But tonight I have three books which are for 30 pounds. So those who are interested in the books, you can, uh, you can have a deal. I suggest if uh, Prof. Uh, Barbaro uh, agree, there is a pub across the street and you can have a one-to-one -one session and intimate question with it. But once again, I would like to thank you, both the professor and you too, because this is Monday. My people, they have kids, they have responsibilities, they need to have money, so applaud yourself and Prof. Barbaro once again. Yeah, for those who need the book, we go to the pub, and then all you have to do is to write your name in the back, and then we get you books for thirty-six pounds. So once again, thank you very much.